Okay, for the problem statement of this experiment, uh, phytoremediation plants effective in controlling water pollution. For the hypothesis, the roots of common water, hyacinth can absorb ammonia found in lake water. So for the variables, the manipulated variable is the presence of water hyacinth. The responding variable is the reading of ammonia at the end of the experiment. And lastly, constant variable is the volume of lake water. So for the materials and characters, materials, you would need eco cresides, which is water hyacinth, 10 liters of uh, lake water, 100 milliliter of 10% ammonium chloride solution, tap water, and lastly, ammonia test kit. For the apparatus, you would only need two glass containers with a 5 liter capacity. Let's proceed with the procedure of this experiment. First, fill the container with lake water. But uh, for this experiment, I use trench water and label them A and B. Then, remove dirt and mud from the water hyacinth. And then, insert 50 ml of 10% ammonium chloride solution into each container. After that, record the initial reading of ammonia in both containers using the ammonia test kit. So for the ammonia test kit, first, we will fill a clean test tube with 5 ml of water to be tested. And then, add 8 drops from ammonia test solution bottle 1 and bottle 2, holding the dropper bottle upside down in a completely vertical position to ensure uniformity of the drops added to the water sample. And how does ammonia test kit function? For your information, originally ammonia test kits used the Nestle method. It based on a chemical called mercury iodide, which reacts with ammonia to form a yellowish color. The intensity of the yellow color is proportional to the ammonia level. So this is the reading of ammonia in the beginning of the experiment. And then we will put water hyacinth from the step 1 into container A. Last but not least, we will leave both glass containers at room temperature and then record the final reading of ammonia in containers A and B after 7 days using the ammonia test kit. So here the result of this experiment. From the table, you will see at the end of the experiment, container A will have light green color as container A have water high scenes, while container B still have dark green color. The for this experiment is, uh, first hypothesis is accepted. Uh, again, uh, the root of water high scene can absorb ammonia found in lake water. We get into a discussion. The first question is, why must the common water high scenes be, be washed first? The answer is to remove dirt from the plant so that its root can absorb ammonia effectively. Uh, the second question is name another plant that can absorb ammonia from water. The answer is hornwort, like the picture below. And the last question, what is the effect of ammonia towards the aquatic system? The answer is if the ammonia level is too high, it can cause toxic build up in internal tissues and blood to aquatic life. When ammonia comes in contact with water, ammonium hydroxide will be produced. This chemical is corrosive and can damage body cells.